Hi guys, it's Tara and welcome back to Crafting with Curly Cues. Today I am sharing a really fun card that I made using some honeybee stamped gorgeous little honeybee images. And I am entering this in the Honeybee Stamps Challenge over on Facebook. They have an entire challenge group, so I encourage you to head over there and check it out. I'm gonna link it below in the description box so that you can go over and play along with these challenges. Honeybee Stamps has some adorable images and I am so excited to see what they're gonna come out with next. Um, the challenge this time was to use a little honeybee image um, or something associated with the honeybees, like the honeycombs or the hives, or and as you can imagine, Honeybee Stamps has a lot of fabulous honeybee images. So, you know, super fun challenge to participate in. Unfortunately, I'm getting this video up kind of late because the challenge actually ends tomorrow, but um, you know, that gives you a little time. <laughs> so sorry guys. Um, but I wanted to um, create a really fun stacked card with these gorgeous bee images because they're really large images in this build a bee stamp set that I'm going to be using. So I wanted to create a nice long card to create um, just a really fun stacked look with these nice big images. So first I am blending on a panel of um, Bristol Smooth White cardstock with some Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink. I think Wild Honey is super appropriate because I'm working with honeybees, right? And then I did some um, spraying with water and picking up with my paper towel and then layering on top. So I love the way that the Distress Oxide inks will layer on top of each other. So when you're down in the detail of this card, you can see that the little splatters are now kind of different shades of yellow because I then um, inked over the top of the splatters from before, which is creates really fun looks. And then I put some black splatters on there also. I just used my ink pad to smush on my Tim Holtz craft mat, you guys bomb.com if you don't have one you totes need to get one because yeah they're pretty amazing and um put some black splatters on there so now I am going to go ahead and stamp these images using my misty so you guys I'm just going to make a confession right now I'm stumbling over some of my words and I want to tell you why it's because I complete this is the second time I'm doing the narrative narration whatever you call this the voiceover I guess for this video I completely did the whole thing and then it got done and went to replay it and I had my stinking microphone on mute. <laughs> so I'm like, so this is the second time I'm saying everything and I'm trying to pretend that it's all fresh and I haven't thought it before. Um, and it's making me stumble because it feels funny to be saying the same thing all over again. But anyway, so I stamped those honeybees um, and now I'm putting the adorable faces on them, you guys. These bees are cute by themselves, but these faces are killing me right now. Like, I want to put these faces on everything. Look how cute those bees are. That little queen bee with her little, like, mm-hmm, like her little side grin. <laughs> Isn't she so cute, you guys? I love it. So I only stamped one with a little girl face because I am, the theme of my card is queen bee, you guys. So I want to draw attention to that adorable little queen bee. And then I am going to stamp another bee. This is a separate panel of cardstock and this is um, 110 pound Nina Solar White. And this is gonna be actually the inside panel for my card. So I am stamping directly on the inside panel cause I'm just gonna Copic color this separate little bee right onto that panel and then stick it on the inside of my card. Um, so that's why I gave her the little trail there. And then I'm going to put the second little, little lady face with the lashes on the inside because my queen bee is like flying so low now because she's the queen bee, right? So she's awesome like that. So I am now going to take this coordinating sentiment set that you can get to go with all the amazing bee images that Honey Bee Stamps has. I cannot for the life of me, you'd think I would have checked in between um, voiceovers, but I cannot remember the name of this stamp set to save my life. But I will definitely have it linked in the description box below as well as over on my blog so that you can totally check it out. But I just, I don't know what my problem is. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it has a whole bunch of different sentiments. Honeybee Stamps is amazing about these sentiment sets um, that they create that have a gajillion words that go together to create fabulous sentiments. And this one is no exception. This is an amazing sentiment set. So I loved that cursive B and then the little queen that I lined up there. So stinking cute. So I colored all of these little bees exactly the same, you guys. So I'm only going to show you this sweetie on the inside of the card because they're all literally the same colors, same process, everything. Um, I'm using some cool grays to color the black parts of my bee. So whenever you're coloring black, you like totally don't want to put just flat black because we want dimension, right? And I really wanted these to be fat, juicy little bumblebees. So I wanted some really intense highlights on the curve of their backs. So I went pretty light with my grays. Like you do not have to go 
um, this light, but I wanted really intense highlights. So um, you get the impression of black, but it's not really, but it's still got some dimension going on, right? Um, and now I'm going to take my yellow tones, and this is my new favorite yellow combination, you guys. I'm obsessed with these three yellow colors. <laughs> like, they turned out so much fun. Like, it almost starts kind of orange, and then I use that really vibrant Y13 at the top, and oh my gosh, in love. So I am going to then put some really pale blues on the wings just to give the, you know, just a little bit of color to the wings, but mostly I want the wings to seem white. And then I'm going to blend that out with what should be my colorless blender. But sadly, my colorless blender has run out of um, ink. So I'm using this like cheapy version, but you know, you get the idea. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy myself a new colorless blender like ASAP because I use it on everything. So I decided that my queen bee needed a crown because every queen bee needs a golden crown. Is that true? I think that's pretty accurate. So I used the Lawn Fawn Critters Ever After stamp set and stole a little crown from in there um, to put on my queen bee. And y'all, it is the perfect curve to go on her head. So if you need a crown for your bees, you need to use this Critters Ever After stamp set. So fussy cut all those out edged the, um, line the edges with black ink so it looks like I cut them out perfect. And then I added a little extra black ink to that crown because it was super tiny and really hard to cut out. And I just wanted to make sure you couldn't see any of that white. So now I have all my bald little bumblebees because I did not cut out those eeny weeny little antennae, you guys. That was just, that's beyond my fussy cutting skills, I gotta tell you. So I will show you later how I give them back their antenna and make them not sad little bald bumblebees. But first I'm going to kind of figure out where I want them on my card here and I'm going to kind of arrange them and then I'm going to ever so carefully pick up this card panel and plop it back inside of my Misty so that I can stamp my sentiment on the front as well as give my sweet little bees their antennas back. So I'm going to put this back in my Misty here. I am using my full size Misty for this project because I'm doing this really big card. Um, and then I'm going to use this sentiment set that I cannot remember the name of that is fabulous and amazing. And I'm going to line up my sentiment going vertical next to these bees. So the, the honeybee stamp sentiment sets are like bomb.com for so many reasons, you guys, but also amazing because you can line up all the sentiments and put them right next to each other because they're all cut in squares. So you get perfect lines every time. It's amazing. So stamped that. And it says, be who you are, honey. And then on the inside, it says queen bee. So this is for my friend who's kind of sassy and she's a gardener. She's a master gardener. She likes bees. So I think this is like the perfect card for her. So now I'm going to take this build a bee stamp set and I am going to um, add the antenna. And it occurs to me now that I, I well, no, I was going to say maybe I could have used some of the antenna that you're supposed to build the bee with, right? But no, I want the same antenna because, you know, it's coming out of his head at an angle there, right? <laughs> So I'm just basically going to figure out where I want them and then I'm going to use my Misty to help me place my images, but I'm just going to re-stamp that on directly onto my panel and then I can apply my B right over the top and it looks like the antenna was always there. So you guys, this build a B stamp set is awesome. So not only do you get these amazing images that are complete bees, but it comes with all the little bee body parts to build a whole bunch of bees, right? Like you can totally put it together. It reminds me of the game from when I was a little kid. Like, did you guys ever play the game cooties where you built like little ants and you like would roll the dice and you got to like get a leg or an eyeball. It's kind of morbid actually when you think about it. My sister and I used to like to get like super creepy and build like mutant cooties and like stick the foot coming out of the like antenna hole and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, the stamp set reminds me of like a stamp version of the cooties game because you can build your little bee with all the like separate torsos and heads and antennas and faces and wings and like super cute. I'm sure you could get some amazing bee images going on here, but um, I was decided to be lazy and just use the amazing images they provide for me because apparently my creativity was not at the point where I could manage building my own bees. So, you know, sometimes that's just how it goes, right? So now I'm going to use some of the really cute little like trails that are in the stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp those off one time on my paper here on my Misty so that they're not super dark when I stamp them because I don't want them to be like pop into the front. I want them to kind of fade into the background a little bit. They're more just part of the scene than, than um, anything else. And I just don't want them to steal the attention from all the super cute little honeybees here. So that is why I'm stamping them off and doing some second generation stamping with those little trails. So now that that is all taken care of, I am just going to go ahead and start assembling the front of my card. Oh, no. First, I'm going to put this cutest heart on the planet 
on these cards, you guys. The stamp set comes with the eensy weensiest little heart stamp. It is so stinking cute. So I popped out a red um, ink cube here, and I am just going to go ahead and stamp that once on the outside and once on the inside of my card because it was the cutest little heart, and I had to use it. It like, was not an option. So now I'm going to start building my card. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my ATG gun to put some adhesive all over the front of this bad boy. And just adhere this on my black card base. I apologize, you guys. I can't apparently remember anything tonight. And I don't know exactly how big this card is. Um, actually, you know what? I have it sitting right next to me. Maybe I'll just go ahead and measure it for you so I can tell you the dimensions on the card. Let's see. It looks like it's eight and a half by three and three quarters. So this is an eight and a half by three and three quarters card. And um, the front panel's cut just like a quarter inch smaller all around. So it has that black um, border there. And I kind of wanted it to be able to go into a legal size envelope was like my goal with this. So that was where I got my dimensions. I actually had to Google how big a legal size envelope was because I had no clue. <laughs> Is that common knowledge? I don't know. So you guys, see how when I'm popping my little bees up, I'm using some foam tape so we get a little dimension going on here. Um, you see their little antennas right behind them, which I think is so much fun. And so the antennas come back like I did not make these poor little bees stay bulb. And um, you don't have to worry about cutting out those teeny, eeny, weeny little antenna, like, because ain't nobody got time for that. Am I right? I'm right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this last little guy on. He kind of gave me fits because I kind of put my foam tape a little too high on that queen bee there. And now I'm going to give her her crown. You guys, so cute. I love how cute this little crown looks on this bee. It's like one of my new favorite things. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty obsessed. So I'm using my quickie glue pen and my little tweezers to go ahead and put some glue on the back of that crown and just stick it on the top of her head. And then I decided that I needed a second crown because my queen bee on the inside of the card also needed a crown. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp another one of those crowns from the Critters Ever After stamp set and color that in with my gold gel pen so it gets nice and shiny and fabulous. And then I will fussy cut that out same as I did the other one and add just a little bit of plaque around the outside just to make it so that it looks like it's perfect, you know, you know the drill. And then I decided I wanted to use a little bit more of my Distress Oxide ink and tie in the front of the card um, on the inside. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of ombre right on the bottom and you know what? I don't need it to look perfect because I'm putting these water splatters over the top and the whole kind of look of the card's a little bit imperfect anyway. It's like kind of a grungy, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it didn't need to be perfect. I wasn't too stressed about it. Um, and so I think that ties in the front really well on the inside and still leaves plenty of room to write the message, but makes it really cohesive, which I think is super fun. So now I'm going to give my little queen bee on the inside her little crown. Oh my gosh, you guys, so cute. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. These little queen bees are like my new favorite. And then I'm going to do some finishing touches. So I have to put some sparkles on the wings because I looked it up and honeybee has have sparkly wings. That's a lie. I didn't actually, but I feel like they should. And if they don't, then we need to work on that. <laughs> and then I added some little white polka dots to the cheeks as well as the middle of those eyes on the open eyed faces to make sure that they popped really well. And then I used my uh, micro bling glue dots to add some pretty pink posh sparkling clear sequins of basically every size under the planet just to add a little bling to the front of that card. And that is going to finish up my card today. You guys, I had so much fun playing with this stamp set. I, I'm in love. I'm basically like Honeybee Stamps is like my new favorite. Everything I've touched of theirs has been so much fun to play with. And so I hope you head over and start joining their challenges and hanging out in that group. It's a really fun place to be. So, to be. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. Here are some links to some other videos that you might be interested in if you loved this one. If you want to see more videos and you never want to miss out, make sure you click on my face because that's going to subscribe you to my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys so very much. All of your comments are um, read and replied to. And thank you guys so much for the thumbs up and the support. And I love you to pieces. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.